Hey guys, Dave from Midwest Sports here to talk about the latest entry into the Nike Vapor portion of their tennis shoe line. This is the Nike React Vapor NXT. We can call it the React Vapor Next if you like. Uh, so this is the 11th iteration of the Vapor. Um, it's been around for a long time. One of Nike's top of the line, kind of hallmark tennis shoes over the years. And this is definitely the most technical version of this shoe yet. Uh, I've been playing in this shoe for about a week now and uh, it's pretty impressive, but I would say uh, my opinion, uh, having seen the Nike line for a long, long time, uh, it's definitely a little bit of a departure uh, from the Vapor series, a little bit. Um, I've been wearing the Cage 4 personally for about the last year or so, and along with some other things, but um, it definitely has a very technical, more substantial feel to it, maybe than previous Vapors. So um, Vapor was typically a low to the court, uh, maybe not minimalist, but it wasn't as beefy and as heavy duty feeling as the Cage shoes typically were. Um, this iteration of the shoe definitely feels a little more substantial, a um, little bit heavier, but not in a bad way. Um, so far, I've been very impressed uh, with the feel of the shoe, but let's get into some of the details. Uh, outsole pattern, definitely a different look uh, to the outsole of the shoe, uh, but still very durable. Um, great traction on a variety of surfaces. Uh, no outsole warranty on this. Uh, if you need that, the Cage 4 is still going to be your shoe to look at. Um, but still, just very interesting pattern there. Nike's done tons of research there to really optimize that for, uh, for great traction. We get into the midsole. This is where uh, things start to, to update a little bit here. They actually make use of React foam. So those of you that wear, uh, wear the running shoes, Nike's been using this in the running shoes for um, about a year or so now. And now they've been able to incorporate it into the tennis line. But the trick being, you have to make sure that the shoe is still stable. So Nike uses React foam sort of in the arch of the shoe, and that's supposed to help sort of stabilize your foot, um, give you a very smooth ride where the foam on the outer portion of the shoe is a little bit firmer, so that provides stability. Obviously with tennis, there's a lot more side-to-side -side movement, and uh, so the rack foam just acts as a nice complement, still keeps the shoe stable, but it also gives you a really nice, smooth ride. So when you step into this shoe, it feels really, really nice out of the box. There's no break-in. Um, it has the integrated uh, spandex tongue, um, kind of a love-hate thing, but. A lot of Nike people, I think, like that. I personally like that myself. It just really gives you a nice glove-like fit when you slip the shoe on. Um, upper is all kinds of technical mesh, very breathable, really nice built-up bumper areas here. Again, Nike's done a lot of research uh, to where the shoes wear out for people, and that's a very common area. This colorway, you can definitely see how that's really built up there, but just a really, really technical shoe. Um, probably for that more advanced player that really gets around the court pretty quickly, uh, needs the shoe to respond for them. Um, it's a medium width, maybe even a little bit on the narrow side because of the way that sock liner tongue really grabs your foot. If you've got a wider foot, probably want to steer clear of this one, but um, that's kind of the same case with the Vapors of, of past. So, but just a really nice technical update to the line. Um, Got great colors for men and women, um, but uh, just looks like a really nice update to the uh, Nike Vapor. This is the Nike React Vapor NXT.